I'll be surprised, to be honest with you, if he ends up with the Clippers. I really will. I just, I don't know what it is about it. It just seems so unappealing to me. <laughs> they just don't matter. And, I mean, if that's what he wants in life, is to play on a team that doesn't matter, then, you know, by all means, go ahead. Go for it. There you go. Go play for the Clippers. No offense to anyone, but it's true. It has always been true. I lived there. Listen, I lived there for a decade. I never went to a Clipper game once, ever. I went to a thousand Laker games. It's what's up. Lakers are what's up, even when they suck. And they have been atrocious forever. I mean, since 2014, they have sucked completely, right? So you add up all the seasons. Like, their best season was like 37 wins. And they still matter more than the Clippers. And then meanwhile, the Clippers were Lob City winning all these games and doing everything. And they still didn't matter. I mean, it really is truly unbelievable. It's almost like the same thing here in New York. It really is. The Knicks are, you know, the most valuable franchise in the league, right? The Nets are better than the Knicks. Are they not? They are. They are better. But no one, let's face facts, no one cares about the Nets here. It's true. It, it, they have never mattered, ever, even when they matter. Do you understand? When they went, do you remember when they went to the NBA Finals and everything with Jason Kidd and all that? They still, you know, is that the only moment they've ever had when they mattered? Well, of course it is. <laughs> That's the only time they ever mattered once ever because they never mattered. And then they finally made it to the Finals and then they, and then they got their moment of glory because they've never had it. You know, they went to Brooklyn, right? And they still don't matter. They still don't matter. Like, you know, trust me when I tell you, the Knicks are awful. They're an atrocity. They're a laughingstock. They're terrible. They never win. They're the most embarrassing franchise, really, in the Eastern Conference. Although, they're worth more money than everyone. And, and God as well. Like, the Knicks are the most valuable franchise in the league. You know what I mean? They're like the Dallas Cowboys. They're worth so much money, it doesn't even matter if they win. But I'm telling you... <laughs> There's, I just don't believe anyone would rather play for the Nets or the Clippers over the Lakers and the Knicks. I'm telling you, the Knicks are the worst, and I would still pick the Knicks over the Nets. You know, six ways till Sunday. I, I mean, I'm telling you, that that's the deal. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's simple. You, you're like, I play at the world's most famous, or I take three trains to Brooklyn. I mean, honestly. Where do you play? I play at the Garden. Where do you play? I play at the Barclays. Where's that? People, no one wants to go there. It, it, and Brooklyn is the most eclectic, fantastic borough. It is very cool, very hip. It's got all flavors. I mean, you name it, every race, every flavor, every taste, every drink, you name it, every bar, every restaurant, all international. It's just crazy. Brooklyn is a melting pot of you know, uh, faces and, and crowds, right? It's a, it's a huge, it really is its own world, Brooklyn. It's a, it's a very vibrant, cool place. And people still don't give a rat's ass about the Nets. Honestly, people in Brooklyn want to go out to dinner and party. They don't go to Nets games. They have to give tickets away to go to the Nets. I mean, literally, they're giving them away just to have somebody in the, in the arena for the games. And meanwhile, they had a great team this year. People still don't go. They don't care.